Hi everybody, I'm JT and welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. So in today's video we're going to give you a quick walk around and review of our campsite here in Relay, Utopia Lac de Relay. So we're about five kilometres from the village of Relay and surrounded by this beautiful forest. Good morning from Lac de Rilly. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Quite chilly last night, around about nine degrees. But what a beautiful sight. Fish are jumping in the lake and you can just see the mist rising. Beautiful spot. So our pitch here at Relay is nestled in the trees. We've got lizards just in the grass outside and a bike track. It's one of the really nice things about this site in particular is it's very wooded. So all of the pitches are in amongst the trees. You can just see in the distance some of the cabins that the site has as well. One of the key features is you're not allowed to bring your vehicles onto site unless it's a camper van and you're using it to sleep in. So there's no cars, you have to park them outside and use wheeled trolleys to bring all of your kit on to site. So we have been allowed to bring our, our camper van on site as we're using it to sleep in. But all of the other pitches are just tents, or motorhomes. The central office and restaurant. So to bring your luggage from your car to your pitch, then you would use one of these trolleys. So again, there's another really nice pool here. Not as big as some of the pools that we've seen at the other sites, but absolutely beautiful spot. A bit like an infinity pool with the edge, and it overlooks the lake. Again, very family friendly, nice and shallow at one end, and a little bit deeper for you to swim the other veranda for the restaurant and bar area. This pool is heated as well so even though in the hot summer weather it's been 35 degrees most of the time we've been here sometimes the pools can be a bit chilly but a uh, heated pool just takes the edge off that. Really nice little spot and well shaded with the trees as well. children's play area and as with all of the other sites utopia sites there are the option to stay in these cabins and these ones have got a lovely spot overlooking the lake you can fish in the lake if you want to and here there's also a wake boarding center as well so you can Go and learn how to wakeboard or water ski. And running around the perimeter of the lake is only, in, only a cycle path and walk, but there's a little steam railway that runs for a fair proportion of the journey around as well. So you can order bread, and pastries, and croissants to pick up in the morning from the bar. We made the decision to cycle to the local bakery in Briel, which is only about 15 minutes ride away. 
The shower and washing facilities are a little bit more rudimentary, a little bit more basic here than we've seen at some of the other Futopia sites. But most importantly, the showers are very hot and very powerful, which is great. This site isn't as big as many of the others that we've stayed at. So less pictures, less cabins, which gives it a much cosier feel. You can see most of the tent pictures are in the centre of the site amongst the trees, surrounded by the cabins. And for those of us who come on with our camper van or motorhome, you can pitch just around the edge. There is separate motorhome parking outside. I'll show you that in just a moment. So these cabins all fairly new. We've stayed in uh, one of these before in uh, Rambouille and they're great. There's plenty of room for six people, wood burner, fridge, cooker, so whilst it's not a camper van adventure, if you want to camp sort of out of season in the spring or the autumn as we did, it's a really good alternative and obviously all your facilities are provided there. On this side of the pitch we've also got some of the Canadian trapper style canvas huts. These are overlooking the lake as well and just behind them there's some tennis courts. Another Volkswagen California enjoying this campsite like us. So if you fancy it, you can also use these central barbecue locations where you can set up charcoal barbecue, big table. If there's a larger group of you to enjoy cooking outside. So we've still got full electric facilities here. And so we've been able to bring our camper van on to our pitch and pre-book this when you book online. A really lovely spot. And because we're very rural here, very dark skies at night as well so if you're into astronomy it's a great spot for that too. There's the office, a little shop and big central lodge. So here at uh, Relay you're encouraged to park your cars outside of the main campsite and then use the trolleys to take your equipment and luggage in. It does make for a much quieter pitch. I really want to try and give that feeling of being closer to nature, which it certainly does. And if you're coming with your motorhome, there's still dedicated pitches for you outside of the main site itself. There's space here for around about 15 motorhomes with larger pitches and hookups. Possible to hire bikes for all ages, including the electric bikes. And here's our pitch, pitch number three. Plenty of space for our camper van and our big tent. So what are the positives and negatives of this campsite here? So positives are definitely the location, really nice with all the trees, very quiet, 
And the fact that the cars aren't on site is a really good thing as well. The negatives, we are in the middle of a forest, so telephone reception is pretty rubbish. I've had one bar of 3G most of the time I've been here. Whilst there is Wi-Fi in the central reception building, again, it's not very good in terms, because I suppose lots of people are using it. So if you want or need to stay connected, then this is probably not the site for you. The other thing that we also found as well is that the, to drive to a supermarket um, was around about 10 kilometers away. So it wasn't just a case of you're walking down the road to be able to go and pick up your, um, your groceries for shopping as well. So another thing to bear in mind if you find it beneficial and plan to do your shopping um, sort of either on a daily basis or every other day. So we've just had to plan a little bit for that to be able to work around that. And so whilst you can order bread and uh, croissants uh, directly through reception, and we always like, if possible, to, to actually go to one of the local boulangeries and the closest one to do that by bike uh, was around about a 15 minute cycle ride. It was a beautiful cycle ride through the forest to the next door village in Briel. Um, no problem at all with doing it. It was a beautiful ride to do at seven o'clock in the morning. And it's, you get to see some amazing French scenery, but uh, it's not for everybody and I appreciate that as well. But all in all, a really, really nice place. and really enjoyed staying here and um, gets a definite thumbs up from us here at Campervan Journey. What do you reckon, Harry? Do you agree? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Again, there's lots of wildlife around here because we're in the forest. We've seen loads of lizards running around on the campsite itself from this big to this big. Lots of buzzers, lots of birds of prey, and um, owls at night as well. So again, if you're in, you enjoy nature, it really is a lovely spot. The only other negative is perhaps the sanitary facilities, the washing and the showers and the toilet blocks compared to the other Utopia sites that we've been to. They're a little bit dated, um, they work absolutely fine. I did get a little bit of a shock with one of them. It's got a traditional French toilet where you stand either side of a hole, which if you're of a nervous disposition is probably not for you. But um, again, I'm sure that in due course they'll get updated in line with all of the other sites in the Utopia group. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick tour of the campsite here at uh, Hootopia Relay. We've really enjoyed our few days stay here and just uh, really appreciated the, the wooded, forested, relaxed feeling that the, the way that the campsite is set up gives. I think we'll certainly be back at some time in the future. So remember, if you've enjoyed my videos, click the button to like and subscribe and there'll be much more content from me here on Campervan Journey very soon. I'd love to hear your comments as well. Just drop them below about places you've stayed and campervan adventures that you've had either with or without friends and family. I look forward to hearing from you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.